Ah, morning. How y'all mm-hmm. doing? Ooh, you ever wake up and you got them little, like, things on your lip? You gotta scrape them off with your teeth? Hmm. Ew. Dry mouth. I just woke up, like, five minutes ago. I slept in. <laughs> I woke up, uh like my normal time at like 5 a.m. thinking I had to go to work. So I was having that dreadful thingy. I like totally like forgot what day it was when I woke up. And um, so I just looked at my my, uh, phone to see what time it was. Just because I woke up before the alarm clock and uh, had my day off. I forgot today's my day off. And I must say, <clears throat> I love it when that happens. That's happened to me a few times in my life. Oh, yeah, I got 113 days no boost also today. Yeah, me. Ah, so that was cool. So, of course, what I do, went back to sleep and slept for three or four more hours. So, yeah, that was nice. That's a cool way to wake up thinking you have to go to work and you don't. I love it when that happens. This was surprisingly good. This was too good. This one here, I'm pulling this joint off the top of This one's good in its own way. It's weird. Um, I'm, I think, oops, not very bright, is it? Let me fix that here. There we go. That's too bright. Shit, there. One more notch. I love these lights. Anyways, it was, it's surprisingly good in its own way. Even though um, if you're not a beer, like a, a beer drinker, you probably hate it. It's different. It's a Pilsner. Okay. That's it. One over. One over. In my defense, though, this one's double. Okay. This is only five and a half. Five, four, six. Okay. So, okay. So, honestly, it is two over. But. My alcohol overall alcohol intake is lower because these are all light beers to me. Okay. Anything under six and a anything under six percent I consider a light beer. Okay. This is at six. This is under six. This is a little over six. This is like eight point three. Eight point Three, yeah. This is only like four or five, and this is like five point five. So lightweight, 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 lightweight. So two over. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna bullshit ya. I'm two over, but <clears throat> my overall is under, I think, or right at. I need to learn how to add up my alcohol, like the percentage uh, and the um, how many ounces it is. But yeah, not too bad. I don't have a hangover or anything crazy like that. So yeah, cool. And then, you know, my day off. So that's cool. I mean, it's only like 8.30. I got up and sleep in that long. Oh, I forgot to do my thing here. This is important to me. Okay. Let's take a second.
think I might have fixed my phone where it'll stay recording. I deleted a bunch of storage yesterday. And uh, it said it's down to 44% used. So that should be good. It should stay on. I heard 13 days, no boost. For the record, don't drink and drive. It's stupid. And I don't do illegal drugs. Weed's legal. So... We're straight. So what do I got? Not much to report as far as boost a recovery goes from boost. So doing good there. Um, I wish um there was a way, I wish I could have a dog. I, you know, I don't have a pet. I, I, I you know, I have opportunity to, to have a dog that's offered to me. And I just can't, I, I could do it, but it wouldn't be very fair to the dog. Because honestly, I'm hard, I'm always at work, man. If I'm not at work, I'm like doing some chore or something. So the dog really would just be some at a place you know where there's nobody there for it most of the time so i'm a little bummed about that i'd love to have a, a dog even a cat would be nice but i just i work in all the time I, I you know just wouldn't be a good fare for the animal plus where i live I can't run the air conditioning all day because I can't afford it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Maybe someday I'll be in the right situation where I can have a dog or a cat. I was thinking about getting a fish, <laughs> but those aren't really that great of pets. I would want something I could cuddle with when I'm sleeping. You know, I, I like dogs the most anyways. <clears throat> Cats are cool. Don't get me wrong. I like dogs, though. Dogs rule. What are those things called? Marmoos? Those are cool, too. They look like giant rodent, and they love to eat. They're so fat and cuddly looking. So, as far as recovery goes... I don't think I'm having any really hardcore side effects. I think it's still just energy issues. And that's, you know, just because I think it takes a long time for that sh all that shit to get back out of your system. Like, as far as it's stored in your fat and in your, in your places and, you know, all throughout your body, it just takes time for it to all get out. And I think it your system just doesn't, your, uh, chem, your, uh, uh, you know, your, uh, chemistry takes a while to get back to normal, you know, because, you know, when you're on that stuff for so long, it, your body gets used to, um, that chemistry, but you're not feeling the side effects of it anymore. You're just feeling the side effects of your chemistry, not being back to normal. That's my opinion. I don't know. I'm not a doctor or nothing, but that's what I think. Either that or just the energy issues are just uh, from my lifestyle. Could be that too. The type of work I do, you know. I do a lot of patrolling and then I do a lot of sitting. And when I patrol, it's usually outside. So I get exposed to, you know, the outside a lot when it's hot and stuff. feel good I'm still not really motivated though to do much on my days off I, I, I'm trying to get motivated here because it's my day off and I want to get some shit done you know trying to I gotta do I gotta make a list I start writing shit down that way it's right there in my face looking at me 
get me done, get me done. You know what I mean? But if I don't see like what I need to do, I sometimes I just won't do it. So if it's on like a piece of paper posted, I'll know what I need to do. And there's always something to do, man. It never ends. My bro wanted me to go ride today. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Because um, you know that you hear me spewing about that before. It takes up half my day. You know, when I do it, when I go do that. Plus, I can't hardly keep up with him anymore. He rides fast. He's got a super rad race bike. It's hard to keep up. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, though. I'm still trying to wake up myself here. I don't think I have anything else really to report. Just 113 days, no boost. I went two over my limit on beer. Don't drink and drive. Don't do illegal drugs. Be a good, be a good human. You know, be good to people. Help people. You know, when you if you can. Just be a good person, man. You know, I was watching a video yesterday where, you know, the security guards, black security guard, you know, for some reason decided to put his hands on someone's property, okay? Which, as far as I know, a security guard, security guard is not supposed to be placing his hands on anybody's private property. Anyways, this white guy comes up and gets in his face. It must have been his property. It's a boat. And anyways, gets in his face. They start to fight, like physically fight. And the white guy's white friends come in and fucking uh, jump this black dude, this black security guard. Okay, so next thing I know, these other black dudes come out of the woodworks and a big, like, brawl starts between the whites and the blacks. And um, I get into, like, this, uh, you know, keyboard cowboy fucking situation on the comments on this video. You know, just saying basically what I said, security guard has no business touching anybody's property in the first place, if he hadn't have done that and done his job properly, uh, that fight would have never happened, okay? And so we get all these keyboard cowboys, uh, you know, jumping on sides, okay? Like black and white. Oh, it's good to see blacks, you know, you know, backing each other up, blah, blah, blah. A white person, this white person, that. Well, hey, and, and then they, and then they start commenting on my comment, and me saying, "Hey, if that would have never happened, if that black security guard, I didn't say black, I'm just saying, that would have never happened if that security guard hadn't touched that person's property." <clears throat> but the problem I have with that is people don't care about that. They care more about the white and black thing. Okay, they care more about that and not they won't admit they will not. They refuse to admit that that security guard was in the wrong by touching that dude's boat and pushing it away from the dock so it could just go out and get fucked up. They, they will not fucking admit that that was wrong. And that's what pisses me off about people these days. They're fucking like. They would rather watch the fucking world burn than admit they're fucking wrong. And that's that entitlement bullshit, okay, mentality that's going on these days. They're entitled to be right when they're fucking wrong, okay? And that's, that's part of that entitlement per mentality that's going on these days. Everybody's entitled. I almost got to retire early yesterday. I was two feet away from getting to retire early yesterday while I was at work. I was patrolling in the car. There's a four-way stop at the intersection. It was my turn to go. This fucking asshole in this fucking Dodge Challenger comes blasting through the fucking stop sign. Like, didn't he must have sped up. 
to go through the in intersection. I had to slam the brakes on, fucking lay it on the horn. He was two feet in front of, in front of me as I, right as I fucking stopped halfway through the intersection. So like, he just you know people just he just thinks he can just blast through a four way stop and fuck everybody else. But hey, you know what? If he would have hit me in the work vehicle, I would have just. Oh, I might, I broke, it broke my back, my neck, everything, my whole body. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, who's this fucking guy think he is blasting through a four-way stop like that? Regardless, there's just no regard for anybody else. Entitlement. This is the, this is the, this is the, uh, this is what we get when you take corporal punishment away from from people that have kids, okay? I'm sorry. You might disagree with me on this, but you need to spank your fucking kids, okay? You need to spank them. They need their asses whipped when they're fucking misbehaving. That's what fucking the wild animals do. There's no different than fucking humans. When their fucking kids get out of line, they fucking get their butts kicked. I'm not telling, I'm not saying abuse them, but spank them and, and let them know that they did something wrong and you won't have these issues, this entitlement, you know, mentality running rampant these days. You have a bunch of fucking brats that grew up that never got disciplined and they're used to getting their way and they think they could do whatever they want and they're better than everybody. Fuck that bullshit. Spank your fucking kids. I got spanked. Not saying beat them and abuse them. I'm not saying that. There's there's a fine line between spanking them properly and then beating the shit out of them. Okay, I'm not saying beat the shit out of them. You know, just discipline them. That's the only way. I'm sorry. That's the only way. Most other ways don't fucking work. Because most people don't know how to do it. I don't care if I get hate on this one. That's my opinion. So anyways, uh, I had to get that off my chest because it's almost a daily occurrence. Some kind of bullshit happens because of this entitlement fucking attitude people have these days. And it's mostly fucking millennials or younger. Okay. Gen Xers really didn't have this issue. Boomers for sure didn't have that issue. This is a millennial thing. Started in the millennial era. I'm prairie dogging. I gotta hang it up. It's getting running long anyways. So anyways, don't be an entitled person. And discipline your kids when they need to be disciplined. And we'll have a better society in the future. Alright, have a great day. And uh, stay tuned. I got some uh, beer battles coming up for y'all later today tonight i'm gonna try not to drink any beer during the day just at night and that's that have a great day thank you for your continued support and uh be kind to each other because skin is just a color and it's only skin deep and under that we're all the same we're all human and we're all related to each other, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Later.